We have seen lots of stories and discussion about social media and the role it plays in depression and other mental illness, both positively and negatively. And we have Adam Hornung is a behavioral health uh, services director at LDS Hospital. He's here with us with some ways that we can watch out for uh, these issues as they pop up on social media as you scroll through your feed. So let's get into this. Uh, first question here, how can we spot the signs of mental illness on social media? Because people really kind of put it all out there. Yeah. yeah, they do. And I think it's it, it really mimics what you'd look for in real life. I mean, if, if somebody is talking a bit more about being down a bunch or if they're starting to fall off in terms of responsibilities at work or at home or, you know, they express some difficulty with things that seem routine to us, mm -hmm. um, then then you got to start thinking about that or yeah. possibly asking some questions if, if you're friends. How do we reach out to people? Because I think we all have friends on Facebook yeah. who are the oversharers, the people who, sure, you know, sure. everything that's going on in their life, every little up and down. And you don't want to overstep your, your boundary, right. but, but how do you reach out to people? Yeah, so I think initially it's important that you just have that conversation or make it known that you are an advocate for that kind of stuff. Or if somebody may be having a hard time, that you're a safe person to talk to type of a thing so um, so I think it starts with that so that before there's any issue that you may identify yourself as somebody hey if you if you're ever struggling I'm up for a conversation could be that simple and then uh I think after that, it really is about saying something, right? I think we get caught up too often in, in saying the perfect thing, right. where you just they say just something, something, right? In, and your clumsiest attempt at being supportive will most likely be viewed as supportive. And so I think as we have more of those conversations, we get better at them, just like anything else in life. So I think it's important just to do something, just say to something. Be there. Yeah. Well, yeah. Facebook, I mean, is, is a platform where you can easily reach out to be a friend. And yeah. so there are positives when it comes to social media. Let's talk Absolutely. about some of the positive aspects of it. Yeah, so if you think about nowadays what kind of a platform people have, before social media, your influence, your sphere of influence was kind of your regular contacts, right? That you right. physically you saw and talked to. With. Yeah. Right. And so now people's platforms are a little bit bigger. And so you have more opportunity to impact and send messages that are accurate. I think there's a lot of stuff out there that maybe isn't so accurate. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we have opportunity on social media to kind of demystify mental health a little bit, um, to debunk some myths that are out there, to be positive about, you know, this is a health concern just like anything else is and that we need to be responsible and take care of ourselves that way as well. There are downsides to that larger group as well of mm -hmm. being on social media and being out there for so many people to see you and you to see so many others as well. Fuels. People fuel each other too. Yeah, yeah it does. So you gotta, I think you got to be cautious and careful about kind of how you react to things right. on there but also take that as an opportunity when you see something that may be out of line a little bit as far as uh, mental health goes or depression goes or just coping in general goes that you're able to kind of bring some reality into conversations that get a little bit Well, I think you, you mentioned there a good rule of thumb is if you if you see something that is concerning, act. Yeah. Say something. Yeah. Reach out. What yeah. other resources are available out there if, if folks are struggling with this? Yeah, so I think there's crisis lines everywhere. There's the 1-800-273-TALK number. That's a national mm -hmm. suicide hotline that people can utilize. Um, of course, if you feel like somebody's in imminent danger or struggling and they're not safe right now, going to the nearest emergency room is, is important. So Okay. Wow. That's really great. And I think we're all sort of navigating this together in a way. Social because, world. Yeah, social media yeah. is so new relatively for all of us. Right. Adam, thanks for coming uh, in and, and sharing this advice. With Absolutely. Us. We, we greatly appreciate it from LDS Hospital Thank today. you.